Hey you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys a story time about the ghost in my apartment, but before I do, I hope that all of you guys are in your onesies. I'm bringing the onesies back, guys, and this onesie is actually from One Piece. I love it so much. It's so cute. I just thought it'd be fun to have like a little slumber party with my online besties. Let's get in our onesies, eat some ice cream, and tell each other scary stories. Um, before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know something I'm so excited about and I've been working really hard on. I have actually come out with my own subscription box and I'm so excited and so I really wanted to share it with you. This is gonna be the very first one that comes out and there's a limited supply of boxes that are gonna be shipped out. So if you guys want to sign up for the subscription box, definitely click on the link below and sign up. It's gonna be an all cruelty-free box. It's a lifestyle box. So in the box are gonna be my most favorite things. It's not an every month box, it's every other month and it is $29.99 and all things that I absolutely love. So like I said, if you want to get it, be sure to click on that link down below, join the hashtag RoseFam, and be one of the first to subscribe to my brand new subscription box. I'm so excited. I hope that you guys are too, because I worked really hard on it, so I really hope that you love it. Also, as a bonus for everyone who signs up for my very first box, I will be including a signed copy of my book, The Story of Shannon Rose. Today is the last day to sign up for this month's subscription box, so if you're thinking about getting one, pause the video and order it now before it's too late. Okay, without further ado, let's get into this story time video. This has been scary for a long time. <laughs> it's been happening in my apartment but we've been putting it off, putting it off. Around Halloween time, we actually did a video where we like went ghost hunting and that completely freaked me out because I already knew this apartment was haunted, but it kind of like <laughs> reassured me when we did like the whole ghost hunting thing, but it got way worse since Halloween time and I really wanted to wait till the next Halloween to be able to like tell you guys this story, but like something crazy we just found out and so I thought it would be a good time to tell you before I forget. I don't think I could forget this to be honest, but like, I don't know, I just like, you guys have been wanting a ghost story so I'm gonna tell it to you before Halloween. You guys know and I've told you before that like, things always used to fall in my bathroom, like in my shower, in the middle of the night. Like something really loud would fall in my bathroom, like the shampoo or a bottle of soap or something would fall and it would be so loud in my bathroom and it would wake us both up in the middle of the night. Um, and that happened a lot. So now you guys, I'm not even joking, I have my bottle, like big bottles of shampoo and soap on like the floor in the tub. It's no longer like on where it's like where you would normally find the shampoo and conditioner like on the little shelves in the shower. I don't leave it up there because I'm scared that our ghost will knock it down and wake me up in the middle of the night. That's like the first thing, but it trust me, I promise you this gets way worse. <sighs> okay, so that had been happening for a while and that actually stopped happening because of like what I did with the shampoo bottles, but I we have always been hearing noises, like weird noises that are kind of unexplained. Um, and like weird things that have happened that we didn't think was a ghost. We just thought like our neighbors were like really loud and obnoxious and like weird noises came from their like where they lived. And so that's like what we wrote it off for. And if you actually watch my vlog channel, you will know that we got a notice for, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I like, my mind went blank. I'm drawing a blank. Um, brain fart. Eviction notice. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Trav. We actually got a notice on our front door. It was an eviction notice to vacate the property. And when we got it, we we're like, oh my God, this is like a mistake. But then we realized like it wasn't a mistake. It was for us. One of our neighbors had actually been complaining of like noise complaints happening like all the time and saying that it was from us. And like, we travel so much that we're like barely home and we don't, we never have people over. Like we're not loud. We don't like jump around. You know what I mean? Like we're, we do not make noise. We're like responsible, boring adults. Like we don't party, we don't drink, like nothing. So that noise was not coming from our apartment. And so, you know, we ended up having to like figure that whole thing out so that we didn't get evicted, but that was like really scary. So yeah, that's what had happened. I was just like, oh, our neighbor is such an asshole. Like, because we hear them making the noise all the time, you know, like they're the ones that are loud, not us. Like, you know, I got really frustrated. So if you watch the vlog channel and you see that vlog is like, we got an eviction notice or something. And you see, I'm like so mad and I'm like complaining about our neighbors because they're the loud ones, not us. I was so annoyed. And all of a sudden, Travis is like, Oh, hell no, I'm gonna have a field day with the leasing office. And I was like, what? We're getting like uh, 
an eviction notice. We've got a noise complaint notice. And I'm like, a noise complaint? Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, listen. So that had happened and come to find out like many months later, Travis, my husband, was actually walking outside and had ran into this neighbor that was the one that put a noise complaint on us and got us to get an eviction notice. And he was saying, he was still hearing the noise, like, are you making all those noises or whatever? And we're like, no, but like, we do hear you make a lot of noise, you know? And he was like, oh, I'm not making noise. And we're like, well, we're not making noise. They're like, who's making noise? It kind of like was really weird. So they had had that conversation and Travis, you know, came up and told me that he had had this conversation with the neighbor. And I'm like, that's so weird. If they're not making the noise and we're not making the noise, like, where is this noise coming from? And then we assumed that it was a different neighbor that had been making the noise. So now we're convinced it's this other neighbor He's making all this noise and like, you know, we're gonna get down to the bottom of it because it's getting pretty annoying. And like, it, it's the noises are happening like all throughout the middle of the night, all throughout the day. It's like very odd, right? And um, very obnoxious. During all of this, like I said, we're assuming it's the neighbor. And then one night, <sighs> this is like where it gets scary. So one night it's late and Travis and I are getting ready to go to sleep. So I go directly into the bathroom to brush my teeth and Travis was getting ready to get into bed. And as I'm brushing my teeth, um, I hear this loud thump, like unlike any noises I've heard before. This, this was not a noise coming from the neighbor. This is a noise coming from inside my apartment. And I thought that my husband had just collapsed onto the ground. And it was so loud that like, as I was brushing my teeth, I heard, heard it with the door closed um, coming from our bedroom. And so I'm like, Trav, like I stopped brushing my teeth. I'm like toothpaste in my mouth and my toothbrush like in my mouth and I'm like, Trav, and I don't hear anything from him. So then I call his name a little bit louder and I'm like, Trav, and I still don't hear anything. And then I start to like get really worried because I'm like, my heart starts pounding. I'm like, oh my God, my husband just passed out. Like I'm gonna have to call 911. So like I spit out my toothpaste. Like I don't even rinse my mouth out. I throw my toothbrush down. I open the door and I'm like, and I come running out into my bedroom to like see where my husband is and like where he collapsed on the ground. And he's laying in bed and I'm like, Trav. And he's like, what? And I was like, did you not hear me call you? And he was like, no. And I was like, did you just like fall or something? Like. What was that noise? And he's like, what noise? I don't know what you're talking about. So Travis did not hear this noise at all. And I heard the super loud thump that came in from the bedroom. And he like had no idea what that noise was. And it like really freaked me out because I was like, dude, that was really loud. Like, I know I'm not imagining things. I know that that just did not come out of nowhere. Like that was really weird, right? I was really scared that night because something just felt off and like eerie. And I don't know, I just feel like if you've ever experienced like ghosts or like anything like paranormal, you know when something paranormal is around you because you can feel it inside of you. Not inside, but like, how do I explain this? Like, I feel like only people that have experienced it before, like know what I'm talking about, but you can feel if there's like a ghost. Like if you ever go into your bathroom, I've said this before, but like if you ever go somewhere in your bathroom or you're, or you're in your house or wherever and sometimes you like feel like you see someone out of the corner of your eye or you see something move or whatever and you look and there's like nobody there that's something paranormal if you go into a room and it's like a little bit colder or like i don't know you can, it's just like you can feel it and you kind of know and i think that a lot of us like write that off and i've been doing it this whole time living in this apartment things like that have been happening and i totally write it off because i still live here and i don't want to be like scared all the time but after that had happened, we were like, yeah, it's definitely this neighbor where we thought the noise was coming, like the noises were coming from. And get this, you guys. I'm like getting the chills just like thinking about it. So the noise that, that we and our other neighbor think that like where the noises are coming from now, from a specific neighbor. Well, we were talking to some people and we found out, <sighs> this is so crazy that not only does nobody live there, nobody has lived there for a very long time. And so the, it's not, no like human person is causing these noises. Like this is definitely paranormal activity that's going on in not just my apartment, but my neighbor's fucking apartment too. You guys, it's so creepy. I've never had that happen before where like, my last house that I lived in, you guys know that that house was super haunted. Um, and I've told tons of ghost stories about that place, um, which is like super creepy. And 
If you haven't seen those, I'll try to link them down below, but if I can't, just search Shannon Rose ghost stories because they should come up, or like Haunted House, I think is what it's under. I had neighbors, and like they weren't experiencing anything like that. Like it was specifically like the hauntings and the paranormal activity was all in just my home. So the fact that it's not just in my apartment, but also my neighbor's apartment is experiencing these paranormal things is so freaking creepy to me because I just feel like it's like bigger than just my apartment. You know what I mean? It just, it, it makes it more scary. And not only that, but like the longer we've lived here, the worse it's gotten. And so I keep telling Travis, like, we need to move. Like, I feel like if we stay here longer, like, I feel like we're like inhabiting like their home and they don't want us here. And so like the longer that we're here, the worse it gets. Like, I'm like, we need to buy a house. We need to move. So yeah, I don't know. So far, like that's what's happened. And I think it's so creepy and scary. I don't know if I should like buy sage and like sage the fuck out of my house so that like the spirits go away, like the bad spirits or whatever. I just think it's really creepy that not that like we're not the only ones experiencing it, that our downstairs neighbor is too. Um, and I really want to get down to the bottom of like why that one apartment has been like vacant for a very long time. Creepy! So yeah, I get like really scared when I'm like in the apartment by myself at nighttime or even sometimes during the day, like I get scared. Just like, you shouldn't be getting scared during broad daylight in your own home, you know what I mean? But when your apartment is haunted, you do. So it's really creepy. Ooh, and I get like scared just like looking over my shoulder, like over to my dark bathroom behind me. Cause I'm like, is there somebody in there looking out at me? Like is, oh, it's so creepy. Anyway, okay, oh, I'm getting myself the chills. I need like a bear to sleep with or something. Um, and so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this story about the ghost in my apartment. I'm sure that there will be many more to come, <laughs> especially like the longer we're here, I feel like the worse it's gonna get. So if anything else like weird or scary happens, I'll definitely let you know, but I thought it would be interesting to tell you about like the whole neighbor situation and finding that out. Cause I thought that was like pretty creepy. Anyway, if you like this ghost story, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my, um, or not, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, and also hit the notifications. That way you know when I have a new video that comes up. Cause if you're subscribed but you don't hit the bell, um, you won't know that I have new videos. So be sure to do that. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in the next video.